All right, YouTube, we're here for round one of the Legacy Challenge. I'm going to play some Stoneblade. I uh, played around a little bit with some of the Planeswalkers last night and wasn't a super fan of them, though I, I think they're good. Like, I mean, I had a Narset in play against a Sneaking Show opponent with a Beseju, and just none of their cantrips did anything, so it gave me a lot of time. Um, since I last played this deck, I added another Jailer, because I think the card, the card just continues to, like, overperform. And I cut, and I added a Spell Pierce for the two Spell Snares. Because I just wanted to be able to counter, like, the Teferis and the Narsets, etc. If I'm on the play, you know, I can counter some cantrips from combo decks. Maybe they're trying to ignore that. So, but then the sideboard is it's pretty much the same. We have back to basics, two clicks, the Fluster Storms, the Priests. It's a pretty, I mean, it's just Stoneblade. Like, pretty straightforward, not a lot, nothing special going on. But we should be starting pretty soon here. Oh, speaking of the devil. I won the die roll, which is nice. Oh man, my chair's messed up. The chair always gets messed up on this couch here. Um, we're gonna keep this hand. It's not great, but we can get out ahead of the spell pierce. We can wasteland if it's relevant, and we have a true name. If somebody wanted to mulligan this hand, I really wouldn't blame them for doing that. But it's just it's good, not great. Or it's it's kind of like a medium. Seven, just to tell you the truth. I'd like to remind everyone that if you donate to the Barrero Brothers, right up there, I can play your deck on stream. There, we're doing that for the rest of the month. Trying to hit the $500. Any donations from today's stream, I will match from my own league. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing special, right? You're not going to mulligan it, but it's, it's, I wouldn't mulligan it. I think if somebody gave me a compelling argument, I would understand, but. Mountain. All right, well, I'm just going to play the Heath. I assume we're playing either against Free Wind Red or Burn. Mono Red Prison, Free Wind Red. Whatever the correct terminology is. They're tanking. What are you waiting here for? Delta's nice. Delta means we can cast Trunian Nemesis and beat Blood Moon, which I'm a fan of. I'm not even sure it's 100% correct to cast True Name Nemesis next turn. Even if I have the opportunity to. Whatever our opponent mulligan, they put a card on top. Like, there's definitely a chance that I should just go like land pass and then go like go like island, island, wasteland to play True Name. I don't think I would ever feel better being on the draw in any blank, in any unknown matchup, Teddy. Okay. Who? Oh. All right. All right, that's good. Well, now I'm just going to wasteland this city of traitors. That makes me feel better. All right, here's the big question. Is it true to Nemesis time because we drew a force of will? I don't think so because they easily could have like a blast. So if they just go like grindstone plus blast, then they, you know, it kind of feels like I got cheesed out of a game I didn't have to lose. So we're just going to get rid of this thing. I just feel like by doing that we're playing we're playing a game that we don't have to. Yeah. Cause we're gonna find a way to beat this deck. 
at some point. Okay, we're just going to play Polluted Delta. Because playing Polluted Delta gives us the option to just not even counter a Blood Moon. Which I don't know if that's correct or not, but it, it's something that we can think about at some point. So I think I'm going to play this Tundra. Oh, maybe something going on. You waste that furnace. All right, well, this is good. How, what, what is, I don't even know what grindstone costs. Exclamation point card grindstone. Okay, grindstone costs one. Well, that's the best of both worlds. The crater maker looks a little awkward, but I could just play Stoneforge Mystic, then waste this, and then my spell pierce is turned on. The crater maker can deal with it, but you know, we've still got our like we still have something on the battlefield and it still trades and we drew a card. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go fetch an island or fetch a plains, fetch island. Play Stoneforge Mystic. Waste this. They can Pyroblast if they want, but then we waste them and they actually go down to one mana. But we were just spell pierce the pyroblast. I could also just get an Umazawa's Jitte because they're probably going to kill this Stoneforge Mystic. Though I could force them to do it. Now I'm just going to get the Jet. Like, I'm never going to tap out to play Batter Skull, I think. The next turn, we play True Name Nemesis with Spell Pierce Up. Why do you think? Why do you like Stone Wars and Crimson Wars and the Delver decks? I think the mana base in the Grixis Delver deck is too fragile, and I think that the Blue Red Delver deck doesn't have a powerful enough spells to compete with Legacy, unless your lands matter. That's how I feel about it. Goblin Welder. Choose target artifact the player controls. And target artifact that player controls in the graveyard. If both targets are still legal. So this just grinds out. Like they stack one of their artifacts. And they can bring back an artifact. Do I have to force this? I don't think I have to force this. This card is quite good. The thing is, if I just get Umazawa's, like, if I just get Umazawa's Jitte going. But like that's gonna take me a while. I guess I'll force this. I'll pitch the Snapcaster Mage. Like if I can get Jit going, I'll ignore this. But like, 
That's a little easier said than done. All right, well now it's true name time. I guess I'm never gonna get the GT active because of this, so. All right, I have another JIT. I have another true name, so I think I think I'm just gonna let this go. I've got another one. Yeah, that's the conclusion I came to. I'm gonna play my island so that I don't have to crack my fetch to fight if I need to. All right, I think I fight over this one. I could have kept that. I, I could get that land in my hand to brainstorm away. So now, if they tap out to do anything, then I get to strap jet and kill this crater maker. Is that worth it? Or is it worth it to try to wait to hit a plow? But I'm just going to plow the painter's servant. <coughs> the problem is if, is if I don't make them pop this crater maker, I can't really attack. Because I'm just losing that race. I kind of want to just force them to do it. The problem is it's so good if I hit a plow. Jenny's just going to win me the game if I wait for a plow, and I haven't seen one. So I think I'm actually just going to hold off, not even attack, and then just wait. Because my hand's not good at the moment. My opponent's hand's probably decent, but if I get it, if I can wait and hold, if I can like hold out, then I think my deck is just good from this point. Like if I draw a, a Palace Jailer at any point in this game, it's like... It's, it's pretty good for me. This might have been a reason for me to get Batter Skull because I could have like played around with this Crater Maker. All 
Okay, there we go. All right. So plow, play and equip, shoot. I guess I can go plow end of their turn. Though they're not going to be able to play a grindstone and, well, if they have four mana, they can activate it and they kill me. I'm going to draw Brainstorm. And then I can Brainstorm, shuffle away a bunch of stuff. They can blast this, I guess. Okay, so let's get rid of both of these lands. Let's get rid of this land and let's, let's get rid of this jet. Probably should have kept the island. And I'm going to go get jet again. Because I can just put the jet... I'm gonna get j the problem is if I get jet I just can cuff my opponent's mana so I'm gonna get jet again and I'm gonna pass I'm sorry this is like this is difficult I, and I think it shouldn't be I'm gonna attack too I think it shouldn't be as hard as this seems to be for me but like I'm just a little uncomfortable with my opponents are going on here I'd rather put the plow on top put the plow on top so that if it got blasted I drew it yeah that makes sense Left Jitty in hand, then get Skull. Well, because my plan was to pick it back up. Like, I really want to finesse this game into a place where I can get Umazawa's Jete going. Because if I get Jete going, I don't think my opponent... Like, I'll, I'm going to just cover all my opponent's creatures. I guess if I had to put Batter Skull in play here, though, my opponent would be handcuffed again. So now I'm just going to plow. I'm just going to plow this Painter Servant. Yeah, I see, I see the error of my ways now. I'm going to plow this Painter Servant, attack, go get Batter Skull, set up Batter Skull. Yeah, I see the, I see the error of my ways. I'm just going to get this off the battlefield. I've seen what I did wrong here. So attack here. Play this. Go get Batter Skull. I'm gonna, should I play my land? If I play my land, I let them know what's going on, but then I also let them, whatever. I'm just not even gonna play my land to keep one unknown card. If they blow up my batter skull, they blow up my batter skull. Okay. But I definitely see where I messed up. I don't know what's in my opponent's hand. Right? A little stressful. I'm 
don't think I've played this super well. Like I've been cautious, which has been like good, but I think I could have I think I could have picked up a percentage point here or there. Smuggler's Coffee, okay. The Looter Scooter. I'm gonna just put the skull in. And I don't think I'm gonna put the jet in. That's nice. One, two, yeah, that's nice. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna judgment the crater maker. And then I'm gonna put the jet, put the jet on this, and then swing for the fences. I might not even attack with anything to give this smuggler's copter a chance to loot. Just put the jet into play here. And that's fine. So my phone is nothing. Yeah, that's what I meant. Attack with like the true name. So now we're just gonna get rid of this. Play this. Equipped onto the true name, attack with everything. And for them to kill me, they need six mana on this turn. So they need six mana plus the grindstone and the whatever it is. They grindstone painter and then six mana. Because painter costs two, right? Yeah. And then if we, as soon as we get another attack in, not only is my opponent dead next turn, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So we want these. One Vendillion click. I don't know if I want Surgical Extraction. Cards I am not excited in. Jace the Mind Sculptor seems kind of medium. Because, like, I mean, it's like a four mana card, but so is Palace Jailer, but Palace Jailer kills uh, Painter Servant. So I'm not wild about this. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're most likely to have the Karn. That makes sense. I could just cut two lands. To be honest, like I could just go here and here. Yeah, I think I want my disenchants and my clicks. It's kind of like what I want versus uh, combo decks. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. A lot of threes. Maybe I don't need this many threes because I want to be able to fight over their pyro blasts. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this because we don't need that many true nemesis in this matchup. I think Jace is too slow, but maybe Jace is just better than True Name. I don't think True Name's okay because I have a Stoneforge, like my Stoneforge package is still good. 
So I don't want to cut all of my true names. Like against like a normal combo deck, the the uh, against a normal combo deck, the whatever it is isn't good. How do I say this? Against a normal combo deck, the stone the true name jet package isn't good, but true name jet's still good. Yeah, Jace gets blasted. That's another sick part about this palace, Gerald, and these blue mirrors. It just doesn't get blasted. Like, my opponent will have a red mana up, and I'll just be like, jam Palace Jailer. <sighs> Alright. We have a removal spell and a Stoneforge Mystic. Brainstorm Ponder. My opponent could get me with that chalice. But they don't play Chalice because then they would, yeah, they wouldn't be able to do anything with their grindstone. All right, I think I'm just gonna ponder for a Force of Will. I could have held up, but I don't think they're they're not gonna have enough mana to do that. I don't really want any of these. Oh, not a Force of Will. The Looter Scooter is good. Okay, I think I'm just going to play Stoneforge Mystic. Because I can go Force of Will. Because they're not going to have enough mana to kill me next turn. Because they go 1-2 and then 3 to activate it. And if I get Stoneforge Mystic in play, then I can just start to play like a fish game. Self better skull fish. <laughs> That's a cool emote. That is a very cool emote. All right, I can handle that. I guess there was, an, there was a, like, something worth thinking about wasting there or forcing because it turns off the looter scooter. There's the old great creator. I'm tempted to just go wasteland or just go plow fetch land because I'd like to put my batter skull in. Yeah, so they, they just don't have the lands. I could just waste them and then not plow this. But, like, I feel like not plowing this is dangerous. Yeah, I'm just going to plow. And then I'm going to play a fetch land. Play an air mesa so I can go get an island. I'm definitely wastelanding them next turn. Like, my next turn is probably, like, Wasteland, Council's Judgment, this. Maybe Council's Judgment, this. And I'm just kind of derping around here with this Force of Will. I think we're pretty... Like, as long as we are cautious, we're good six ways to Sunday here. Ancient Tomb. I'm gonna get a Tundra. Yeah, we're gonna go Wasteland Council Judgment this turn. That's nice. So let's go Council's Judgment. I vote for Grindstone. Then I'm going to hit this Ancient Tomb. Alright, I don't think they can flash in a creature here. So I'm going to get in with the Mystic too. Then I'm just going to waste the Furnace.
Do I even need to force of will this? And is this just a blue blast waiting to happen? I, I don't even think I have to force this. Like, what is this going to get? Another combo piece, and then I can just wasteland them, attack, and kill it? Like, I'm not, I'm not even going to force this. Oh, they go up. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Forgot they could do that. Well, now I feel a little stupid. All right, let's brainstorm because we drew another force. All right, let's put this back. I'm going to just put both of these lands back and then I have double force a little up. So let's me just attack this. This was, now I feel a little stupid. I didn't think, I, I never think about this going up. They have to chump in order to use it and keep it around. Well, I brought it in, I brought it in because, like, I had a bunch of bad cards. And I was like, well, in case they make things red, I can fight Pyroblasts. Like, I, I definitely wasn't like, oh my god, Fist Pump, Pyroblast. You know what I mean? I just thought I had worse cards. I did not, because I thought they were mostly a mono red deck. Okay. Snaring Bridge. I guess that makes sense. Okay, they blast this. Now I go force of what? No, I just no, I can't fluster storm it because I don't have enough mana. So just force pitch fluster storm. Look at this, fluster storm's great. I can pitch it to force of will. So I have another land on top that I actually think I'm going to draw because it's my fifth land for Force of Will. Would, would you board in would you board in back to basics against the mono red prison deck, Lawrence? Or is this the tipping point? Just wondering. Yeah, car and crude smuggler's copter, and I was just like, uh. Sometimes one, okay. And you think this great furnace is what is is the tipping point? Alright, we're gonna force this. Get that full retail force of GW. Oh yeah, all right, nice. Okay, so let me go stop my recording.